Today I'm making a really, really yummy, fast treat. Awesome score bars. And here are the ingredients that we need. We need a full box of Ritz crackers. Eight ounce box you need, or 225 grams. This is a 10 ounce tin of condensed milk, that's 300 milliliters, and also some score toffee bits, and this is made by Hershey's. And these are really, really yummy. All right, so those are the ingredients, so let's get started. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to crush these up using a rolling pin. You can either try to do it in the original package, but I'm just gonna use a uh, little Ziploc bag. So I'm just gonna open this up, and I'm gonna pour all of the crackers into here, and then we'll crush them up. So I'm gonna get all of these into there. By the way, I want you to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna grab my rolling pin. You can also do this in a food processor if you want. So I'm gonna continue doing this, and I'll be back when it's done. I've taken a few minutes to really make sure that all of the crackers are really crushed nicely. You want basically all the same pieces. So there we go, beautiful. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pour them into a bowl. Now I took a few minutes doing this by hand. If you did this in a food processor, it would have taken, you know, five seconds. But anyway, there you go. And our next step is to open up our condensed milk. All right, I just want to flip this over to a larger bowl. There we go, that'll just be, make it easier. So we have our crushed Ritz crackers, and now I'm just gonna pour in all of the condensed milk. We'll get all that in there. All right, let's mix that around a little bit. You also need a nine by nine or an eight by eight tray, a little tin, baking tin. So I'm gonna mix that around. Let me just throw that down. Okay, the next thing, I'm gonna open up our score toffee bits. Oh, those are good. Okay, so what we're gonna do I'm gonna pour about three quarters of them in and just keep a little bit for the end. So, about like that, perfect. All right, and now I'm just gonna continue mixing this up. And when I'm happy with the mixture, I'll come back. You don't wanna see me mixing this for a minute. All right, that's good, perfect. So next thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna grab my baking tin and put everything in here. And just press it down now. So I'll continue doing this and I'll come back when I've finished pushing it all down. All right, I just switched over to a spatula just to make it easier to get it all nice and flat and even. All right, so that is it basically with this recipe. We're gonna put this in the oven, 15 to 20 minutes depending on your oven, and we'll bake that up. And what that's gonna do is just gonna help everything set and kind of meld all the flavors in, into one another. Then we're gonna bring it out and we're gonna take the rest of the little toffee bits and just pour them on the top. And then we're gonna let it cool. And then we'll come back and uh, see the final product a little later on. So I'm gonna pop this into my 350 degree oven right now for about 15 to 20 minutes. Alrighty. So that has been in exactly 15 minutes. So there we go. So what I'm going to do while it's still hot, I'm going to take just the remaining little bits and I'm just going to pour them on top. Just try to get them nice and even. There we go. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let this cool down and I'll be back later on and we'll cut them up. All right, my score squares have been cooling down for quite a while now. So I'm just gonna make a few here. I'm 
And there we go. I'm just going to take a little bite. Oh yeah. That was really good. Mmm. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Oh man. That is good. Yum.